Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to continue a discussion about replacing the lead acid AGM 12 volt battery with uh, a lithium battery. And uh, as everyone knows that's uh, familiar with these cars, the uh, lead acid battery is only lasting around roughly four years before you can potentially have your car bricked if you don't replace it and it happens to go bad. And those batteries are about $150 to replace if you uh, do a DIY install. But one of the problems with installing the uh, lithium ion battery would be how much power do we actually need on startup. So to measure the current draw when starting the car, I pulled out the front and you know, here's the battery. And here's the power line coming off of the uh, battery. So we're going to clamp this guy to uh, look at the uh, current draw. So in a previous episode, we purchased and tested this particular battery and it was deemed not to be okay to install in the car due to uh, BMS performance and also due to temperature ratings were not actually what it was specified to be. However, a viewer recommended this particular battery as a potential uh, candidate and we're going to take a look at the specs on that. And it actually looks pretty good for the most part. It has the uh, low temperature specifications. That looked good and overall the amperage ratings looked uh, decent as well. To highlight a few key uh, features again the peak discharge, discharge current is at 40 amps with continuous at 20 which would fit what we just measured. Uh, charge and discharge temperatures go down from minus 4 to 113 to 140. Um, again size wise it should fit in the car uh, smaller than the AGM battery that it would replace. And the BMS uh, high voltage cutoff is around 15.6 and we know that the inverter on the i3 can charge upwards of 15.2 volts uh, when it's running. Uh, it has a heating element built into it and the uh, heating element is actually powered by the charging system and not by the battery itself. So it should uh, be capable of being run by the inverter uh, when the temperatures are cold. So in summary, the data says that the amp hour rating is decent, the uh, continuous current supplied should be adequate as well. Uh, peak current measurement requirements is less than what the battery can put out. The BMS disconnect voltage is 15.6 and we know our charging voltage can go as high as 15.2 so that looked okay as well. The nominal voltage is 12.8 uh, volts, which is right in the range that the AGM was producing. Temperature ranges uh, are way better than the other battery we looked at. Charge current looks like it should be in the ballpark, although I need to verify that a little bit more. Uh, battery resistance is a little higher than the AGM was running based on my measurements, but probably within the ballpark of uh, feasibility. So if you would like to help participate in this experiment, I'm looking for people to join my Patreon account to support and help fund the purchase of the battery and uh, testing of it. And I will then share that information with the Patreon viewers first for their help in uh, funding this experiment and the battery evaluation. So if you can do so, uh, please do so. And if you can't, then thank you for watching and hope to see you in the next video.